happy to welcome you all at this exciting webinar about Manifactura. And please note that this is a webinar and you can only listen. If you want to ask questions, please use the chat box on your right. So Patrick, what is the meaning of Manifactura? Good morning, Roger. Hello, and uh, to all our listeners and the audience. Um, yeah, the meaning of manufacture. Manufacture is a word coming from the old Latin language and is divided from, from two words. Manus, which means hand, and facere for doing. So manufacture means handmade solutions, handmade. Um, so that means uh, we are following manual processes. Of course, uh, today, don't expect everything is done 100% by hand. Uh, so, of course, uh, we are using also easy tools or tools and machines, but um, manual operated. From a historic point of view, the word and the meaning of manufacture is coming from the 17th century, based in France under Henri IV and Louis XIV. And yeah, at that time in France, they want to develop their domestic market. Um, it's very important at that time. So for example, it started with silk. The, the France, uh, the French people, they had to buy it from, from other countries and to pay a lot of money for that. And that's what they want to develop in their domestic market, uh, to make it by themselves. So really to have the production within France. And at that time it started with silk, leather, porcelain, watches, weapons, and even at that time also with wallpapers, for example. Wow, yeah. so it's and already it's from the past. So yes. what is the offer of manufacture today, Patrick? So what we are doing is upgrading our products, our ranges, our standard ranges. So Mainly my topic and my focus is on Berka wagon accessory ranges, but also on Hager Gallery, for example. Yeah, and so the design components we can upgrade to, to a special design, surface, and so on. Also, what we are doing is to harmonize it also within the other products within the Hager group. So as you know, Hager has also a big part for trunkings, for door communication, and yeah, we harmonize these with our Berka ranges, so to, you have it really uh, unique and uh, uniform th through the ranges. For example, if you have a uh, dog communication from Elcom in a special color, of course you want to have your Berka wagon accessories also in the same color, so it needs to be harmonized to each other. Yeah, and it's our slogan, let's say, more and more people are following the trend of not following a trend. So we really try to satisfy this worldwide mega trend of individual solutions and individualizations. Of course, the trendsetters, again, is uh, the car industry. Today, when you buy a new car, for example, a BMW, Mercedes, Audi, or whatever, you make your own configuration. Very often you can make it online or you do it with a sales uh, rep um, of the garage. And no car, uh, all the cars you see on the street, no car is 100% the same like, like the other car. So really it's an individual product and individual solutions. Same also for cloth industry. For example, Nike shoes can be configured. And yeah, that's absolutely a mega trend. And we want uh, to satisfy this also with our products. But it's nice cars and clothes, but why should a customer change uh, the design of a switch? Why manufacture with Berka? <clears throat> so you see, um, we all are different people, of course. And um, we, we all have uh, also unique homes. So for example, perhaps you are living in an apartment in a, in a big tower and from outside, you can see balcony by balcony, and it's very uniform. But later, when you are, are entering and you go inside uh, to the apartments, every apartment is different. So your your apartment is or your home interior is different than my, and my is different than Christian, and so on. 
So we are individual persons, individual people. So also our interior designs are individual. And I think that's also a good sign, of course. Huh? Uh, in Germany, we say, my home is my castle, and everyone has its own comfort zone. And it's, it's very unique. And during building up your, your home and your apartments, you think a lot of uh, details. For example, a special designer decorative lamp, um, which kind of curtains, which kind of floor carpet, uh, which kind of bus applications, water taps, and so on. But the question is, when do you think about your switches and sockets? Perhaps you think uh, about your switches and sockets for the location. So you know where you have your TV, your hi-fi station, and so on. So you know where do you need the power supply. But when do you think really about the design of the switches and the sockets? And uh, to be honest, that's uh, absolutely an underestimated uh, design detail um, today, I think. And that's something uh, we, we like to change. Yeah? So or I, I want to ask you really uh, to think about all the details. Um, the result could be you have a very nice apartment, a very nice interior with a high class wallpaper and a nice uh, picture on the wall but direct by side, um, boring plastic white switch. And this won't fit, I think. So really pay attention to the details and uh, all the details make uh, the interior perfect, I think. Wow, Patrick, I love to give my individual touch. So can you give some examples? How can we upgrade the switch and can you maybe show us samples? Yes, of course, I can do. And um, here we have a very nice showroom in Scheichsmühle. And for this, uh, we prepared a nice video, uh, what I like uh, to show you now. Welcome at the Technikum and Workshop Hall at Berka Scheichsmühle. Here we have workstations for modeling, prototyping, 3D printing, all for R&D, and also more than 500 real manufacture samples and solutions. The next minutes I like to give you a nice overview about all our samples and the wide range of manufacture possibilities. Let's start with our Becker Q7 one of the most flexible design ranges we have. As you can see, the Q7 frames have always a plastic base and covered by a decor element, which can be also plastic, but also aluminum, stainless steel, glass, concrete, or whatever. A nice option could be also inlays with real organic materials. For example, hay, moss or real wool. Further materials could be stone or porcelain fine stone, especially in combination with nice kitchen or bath interiors. And of course, this is not only linked to our Berka Q7 range. As you can see here also, it's possible for our R1, R3 range, B7 or System TS and more. After some solutions made with stone, I also would like to give you some ideas with wood. A problem with real wood is always it's a living material. So with change of temperature or humidity, wood is also changing its dimensions. So we can also offer a wood imitation. This material is called resistor, is made of rice husk. 
is also a natural material, has the same look like wood, but not these characteristics of changing the dimensions and so on. If you like it more colorful, a powder coating can be a very nice option. The advantage of powder coating on stainless steel or aluminium is that it's very robust, strong and tough. So it's also very scratch and UV resistant. Especially for our R1 series, we can do also a lot of with fabrics. For example, with jeans, with real leather in different designs and materials, or also with uh, Alcantara as a leather imitation. If you like to give your wine accessories a nice bling bling character, this can be realized with original Swarovski crystals. Inlay pads with real crystals are available in different colors and dimensions. Glass is a very nice and noble material, but especially for white color it is quite difficult to handle. This is caused by the natural iron oxide within the glass material, which gives a light green shine to it. This is the case for all our standard glass polar white articles. With Manufaktur we are able to offer it in real ice white finish. Of course, the glass components can be also backside printed in different colors like black, green, gold or also with functional symbols, labels or logos. Printings of logos, symbols and patterns are possible on nearly all our products. Of course, always important are the copyrights of these. A printing can be only done with agreement of the owner. For example, here a cooperation with Rapid Vienna, a football club from Austria. Patterns can give a very special character to the product or can implement and hide it perfectly to the wall design. All these printings can be done with our UV digital printer. Since summer 2018, we implemented our own painting cell at our production destination in Ottfingen, Germany. Here we can realize all paintings manually in-house. Paintings can be done in every well-known color definition, like Rahl, Pantone, etc. Or we can also realize a special mixed color after customer's requirement. Imitations of concrete, copper or other materials are possible via a painting. And also different haptics, for example a smooth soft touch surface. One of the main targets of Berker is always using real materials and less imitations. So for metals we have a very wide range of possibilities. Copper or brass with natural patina, which is one of the most complex production processes, could fit perfectly in a vintage interior. Or our burnished brass solution, which looks like antique bronze. Glossy surfaces can be very noble, for example chrome, black chrome or 24 karat gold plated. 
Cortain steel, which serves more a rough and vintage design, is one of the trendy materials currently. Finally, a quick overview about some manufacture possibilities. Logo printing, Cortain steel, aluminium anodizing, stainless steel powder coating, stainless steel brushings, real Swarovski crystals, black chrome, real chrome and also mirror glass, burnished brass like antique bronze, labelings and um, Alcantara as leather imitations. Wood, concrete, copper patina, 24 karat gold plated, wood with aluminium. Hope you got some nice impressions about our possibilities of Berka Manufaktur. Thanks for joining this tour through our samples. And hopefully one day we can welcome you personally. Wow, Patrick, you now really get my attention. Even 24 karat gold, but that cannot be your high runner. Are there some high runners in Manufaktur? Yes, of course, Roger. So here I have uh, four articles or four solutions which are really high runners and we have uh, quite often uh, with Manufaktur. So for example, our BIQ, um, here's a version in plastic anthracite. Normally, and um, standard range in catalog and plastic, we have it only in polar white. So to give it a nice, a real and noble character, we can make it also in anthracite matte. Another nice solution is always a lacquering or painting. So here, for example, I have a K1 switch painted in mouse gray matte. Also, let's say we can do it, of course, in other colors. It's uh, another tones of gray, for example. But the painting of the K1 range is also uh, very often asked. <clears throat> the next one would be B7, our B7 range. Uh, the B7 range is already quite flexible. We can make it in plastic, stainless steel, aluminium, glass. Here I have, I have an example in glass, which you can backside print it in different colors or also as we saw in the videos with uh, logos and and symbols and so on and really one of our absolute high runners is this burnished breast surface or uh, often also said as antique bronze this surface is very often asked also for different ranges so here i have a picture of k5 but also possible in biq in b7 in system ts and so on and i can also show you i have here with me also some examples of these ranges so i hope you can see my camera um so again here our biq so it's uh, without the technique behind so the design part as you can see here, this is the anthracite, anthracite surface. So this is not a lacquering. It's directly injected in this um, color, so with this uh, anthracite material, for example. Um, so here, another one, uh, what I also said is a lacquering. So in the pictures, we had a gray lacquering. So here I have a brown lacquering. So let's say Berka is always standing for classic color. So you will not find lot of uh, bright red or bright yellow colors so let's say for Berka it's mainly in in classic colors so uh, different colors of gray or brown and these are also uh, yeah one of our high runners uh, we have a lot <clears throat> yeah again here um, so this is a glass plate what we show so um, 
And the pictures we saw it in B7, so this is a glass plate of R range. It's, it's only the glass, normally, so now here's a plastic basic wheel behind and the socket insert. Um, so this is only the design part, uh, which is printed from the back side, in, in this case, in a gold color, but also, of course, this is possible in, in any, any color you can imagine. So for RAL or Pantone, these are the common um, definitions, um, but it's also possible in different colors. And again, um, our K in, in burnished brass, uh, where you can see really here uh, with, a, with sharp edges, but very, very good quality. And you can really see this is absolute handmade, uh, handmade product. Um, so it's a brass surface, brass material, which is get a burnished and a black cover and by Handmade wiping about this surface, we will get this special, um, yes, a special look and the special finish of this range. <clears throat> so let's go back yeah. to presentation. So it looks, it looks like that, that sky is the limit with uh, with their car manufacture. But are there also some things which is not possible? Um, Yes, of course, there are also some limited, uh, limits. Um, so, I can, so we saw a lot um, of possibilities already and uh, there's a wide range of possibilities, but I cannot promise every solution and every requirement is possible on every range. So every range has also his special characteristics. So we really need to check it from, from project to project, what is really fitting and to find the best solution. So sometimes it's um, it's not fitting uh, what what the customer is require, requiring, but uh, by discussion we always find a nice solution and uh, the best compromise uh, to get. Um, yeah, what what is required? Um, yeah, as I already said and also shown, we are only able to upgrade design parts. <clears throat> so only in in, in brackets. Uh, what is not possible to change are the 220 volt components, for example. That's something we cannot touch by manufacture because these components, of course, are security related, uh, related to certifications. And when we would change these parts and these things, we would lose our certifications and this will become a big problem. Or we need to make a new certification process, which will take several weeks of time and a lot of costs. So that's something we do not in manufacture. So really concentrating or focus only, only on design parts. <clears throat> and of course, um, always very important when we talk about uh, logo printing or also symbol printing, the copyrights has to be clear. Of course, we have a, a stock of symbols which are possible for Hager to use, no problem. But especially for logos of companies, or as we saw, uh, saw in the video, when we have a football club, we can do this only with, uh, with their agreement, of course. So that's nothing we can do now um, with, without the agreement. Yes, and um, for lacquering also, a small uh, or important point also, we can do it only in the matte finish. Glossy lacquering or glossy painting, this won't be possible. But okay, this can be all discussed from project to project and to find the best solution with the customer. Okay, and Patrick, I also heard about additive manufacturing or 3D printing. Could this be uh, something for manufacture? Of course, that's very interesting. And for this topic here, I have Christian with me and I hope Christian can take over and say something. Okay, Christian seems not to be online. So Patrick, I'm afraid his sound is not correct. Can you take over? Can you okay. maybe tell us why it's interesting? 
Of course, no problem. So also for additive manufacturing, we prepared uh, first a nice short video. And um, yeah, I would like uh, to show this now at first. Additive manufacturing is one of the most important and innovative technologies we deal with in Technicum. With nine printers and four different printing technologies, Technicum is one of the leading 3D printing areas within Hager Group. Starting prototyping in 2006 by using additive technologies, 3D printing became our daily business. Becoming more and more professional in 3D printing, we made our first trials in printing molds for plastic injection. This allows to produce a short number of real plastic parts for validation or testing as a milestone during development. The fabrication of production aids and tools by using 3D printing has become one of the major topics at Technicum. Especially manufacturer can participate from this technology, for example for printing or painting customized wiring accessories. Printed components for consumer parts have become more and more important. Today we are able to realize such solutions by using different 3D printing technologies. But Unfortunately, this is only possible for non-visible components inside our articles, for example adapters, supporting rings and more. Another nice example is the extension of our Berker Q and K designs with the K and X in Ocean technology. This is adding value directly. Of course, we think about the next steps for future possibilities. What do you think about creating your own texture on the surface of our devices? Our own texture on the surface of our devices. We can imagine a lot of parameters to create a surface design. Of course, 3D printing is a quite complex and exciting topic and we can only scratch it here. Maybe it can help to realize your ideas? We hope you got curious about it. Thank you, Christian. And for sure we are curious about it. And what is the main difference between additive uh, and, and conventional manufacturing? And what are the most advantages about it? I'm afraid so, we okay. uh, I, 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 I will take over from Christian. <laughs> I'm I'm sorry, but I, I will take over. Okay. So this additive manufacturing, of course, is very important for us for manufacture. And um, yeah, the major difference is instead of cutting a shape from a block, which is a conventional manufacturing, also with 3D print, we can build up layer by layer. And so starting from zero and layer by layer to build up uh, a product and um, an article. And the benefits, of course, uh, is uh, at first sustainability, very important uh, today. So the material we use is um, really the material only we, uh, we need. So it's built up layer by layer and there's no waste production. 
for the conventional path by cutting it from a block, you have a big block and cutting it out from this block. So of course you're also creating a lot of waste. So that's what we do not have with the 3D print technology. Um, so of course for us, for sustainability, producing less waste, waste we have also a cost and a time um, advantage so it's done a little bit uh, much quicker during uh, development process and the risk reduction is also a very important point um, because if you make a mistake or yeah or you have to change something it's done quite quickly you have to change only some parameters or data and start the printing process again instead of um, making a complete new design, construction, and so on. So you are much more flexible with this additive manufacturing. And for us, for manufacture, of course, this is a very great and main advantage of this technology. So we are very flexible. It's very cost efficient and also sustainable. Um, that's that's a good advantages for us. Okay, great story. And where's the production of Manufaktur? Is this all done in your Berg uh, Technikum hall? So for Manufaktur, our production is, we can say, completely or mainly done made in Germany. So not everything is done in the Technikum, what we saw in, this, uh, in the video. So in, in the Technikum here in Scheichsmühle. Uh, we are doing really the complex processes like additive manufacturing, 3D printing, also some other complex um, processes for cuttings, milling, drilling, and so on. Um, for lacquering and painting, we also saw on the video uh, since 2018, we have our own painting cell. So doing this in our Berka Otfing destination, which is the main production plant for Berka accessories. So this is done by ourselves uh, today. So we have it under our control and uh, not so dependent from suppliers. For special materials like stainless steel, glass, gold, brass, and so on, we have a wide range of partners and suppliers. So. We have a network, this is already built up since around 20 years. Uh, so this is a really great and good network of suppliers. So they are producing and providing us these design parts and these special materials. But again, the assembling of everything is done in Ottfingen. So as I said, in Ottfingen, we have our standard production uh, for standard range, and we're always using their capacities. So really it's also safe um, the processes are safe and also very cost efficient, so we can offer it on the best way. Okay, well, made in Germany, um, Manufaktur, you know I am Dutch, so what is the price and what is the time of delivering? <clears throat> So yeah, as I said, everything is make to order. Um, production only starts when when we have the order in house. So I do not have these manufacture solutions in stock, and I think also that's quite logical and also a good argument because um, if you require a special solution from me and I could go to the warehouse and provide it to you, this wouldn't be an exclusive solution. So this would be a little bit dubious. So really we provide an absolute exclusive solution, means also production starts only with the order. And yeah, for price, I cannot, I do not have a prices where I can say um, the exact price now. So really every single project and every single inquiry is calculated. And the price of course is depending on the, of the mix of articles, of the quantities and so on. Um, so really, we give um, the best price and the best calculation for your project. Um, yeah, the time of delivery, I can say, is an average eight weeks. So of course, also this is depending on complexity of the solution, of the quantity. So of course, this could be differ a little bit. It could be faster, or also if you have very big quantities, it could be a little bit longer. But 
let's say an average, the time of delivery is eight weeks. So time from when we get the order to it's ready for, for dispatch from the warehouse. But for us, it's absolutely clear the price is a special price. And the average time is also not from one day to the other day. Absolute important is the quality. So that's what for Manufaktur is the most important point, really to deliver the best quality, the best available quality. So really every article is 100% checked by us. Um, so really you can be sure it would be the best quality which will be delivered. Very often we have um, also the question about the minimum order quantity. For manufacture, generally we have no minimum order quantity. So we really start with one piece if it's required. Um, let's say um, if you have a quantity up to 10 or 20 pieces, the price will become very quick, also very reasonable. So clear, um, yeah, nearly to, to standard range. And um, here I have also one example for painting, for example, it can make sense to have a minimum order quantity. So we say for paintings, a minimum order quantity of 300 pieces would give a very reasonable price. Um, but for us, and technically it's possible also to make less than 300 pieces, that's absolutely no problem. So really we start with one piece uh, if it's really required and um, up uh, up to the sky, so that's open um, uh, how many pieces are required. Um, for samples, for example, uh, for samples could be sometimes also a problem, but all the pictures uh, you see here in the slide or also in, uh, during the presentation uh, are very often renderings. So we are able to make really very nice and realistic renderings. So we can save perhaps um, instead of making a sample or instead of making several rounds of samples, we can first make a rendering so the customer has the first impression and can see uh, how our product will look like. Okay, well, we heard now a lot on your possibilities, reasonable pricing, very nice designs. So tell me, who are your customers? What kind of projects are you in? <clears throat> so of course, it's also linked uh, often to the quantity of articles. Um, it's, as I said, it's possible from one piece up to thousands of pieces. Very often, and that's uh, special for the German market, so we are present in villas or one family houses. So one villa or one family house has not this big quantity, let's say 100 to 300 pieces, for, for example. But okay, with a lot of projects within Germany, that's a very nice business for us. Um, more to, to the Maniad region, to Middle East and Turkey, we have uh, some multi-residential complexes or big towers. So this is one project with a, a big quantity which is also possible for us to realize. Very interesting for us, of course, is the hotel business. So here we are working with different hotel changes, uh, chains and hotel projects we have. I will show you an example in the next slide. And also that is um, more to related to Europe, our OEM business. So we have our backer business solutions department. So we can also provide some solutions for caravan industry, for, for furniture industry, for built-in sockets and so on. So of course also OEM, they have very big and huge quantities. So here I can show you um, some uh, exact examples and references that we did in the last years. This is the Hyatt Anders uh, Hotel in Munich, Germany. So a very nice project. We were very proud. This is from last year. Um, Anders is a luxury brand of, of the Hyatt Hotels. I think Anders is also the word is coming from the Hindi language and, and means personal style. So of course Hyatt uh, will give this personal style to his customers. But of course also this absolutely fit in the story of manufacture. So also the building 
is equipped with personal style with special manufacturer solutions. And here we can see our Berka R Classic range. So really the round range, which is very special for Berka. In a black matte lacquering. Normally it's only glossy. We have here a black matte lacquering with soft touch feel. So really a nice feeling on the surface and already printed symbols and integrated a rocker switch instead of a rotary switch. So, so really uh, a lot of adjustments, but very nice for manufacture and a very nice project for us. <clears throat> so I think this is a project we did in uh, 2017. So the Denis Istanbul, a very nice location direct on the, uh, with view on the Bosporus. Uh, a lot of villas and um, yeah, they had uh, our Berka BIQ and exactly the example I showed a few minutes ago. This is our Berka BIQ plastic in anthracite. Very nice, 87 villas, also a lot of quantities and absolute um, an amazing project for us. So the FJ Residential Tower in Lusai City, Qatar. This was absolutely the biggest project we had in Manufacture yet. So this is also, I think, from 2018. And here we have more than 3,000 KNX devices and more than 16,000 uh, backer wiring accessories. So absolutely the biggest project we ever did in Manufacture. And um, the solution was quite easy. So here we see our Becker B7 frame, our Becker B7 range, made of stainless steel. This is uh, still standard. But in the, in the middle of the products, the center plates, the rockers, and so on, they were lacquered in a special color. So here the customer decided for a special RAL code uh, what he requires, what he wants, and we realized this by a painting and lacquering. Very nice project. And last example I have here, also again, a project from Turkey, from Ankara, the Kuzu Effect Tower. Also a big tower, including shopping malls, cinema, offices, uh, apartments. And also here we delivered our Berka BIQ range and also lacquered in a special color. So also here the customer decided for a different RAL code. It's like we also said, a nice gray color tone. So it's a classic color. Um, but gives a very nice character and exclusive character to the pro to the product of BIQ, I think. And uh, this is one of the nicest projects and uh, products I have seen. So I like it very much. So this were a quick overview about some projects we did. So you can really see from from the one family house from the villa with a low quantity per project but up to very big projects and thousands of articles all are possible to realize with manufacture and with special solutions. Very, very impressive. This is really amazing. And what do you see in the near future? Do you see some trends in manufacture? Um, yes, of course. Um, we are always uh, willing to develop a manufacture and develop solutions uh, for manufacture, or, but also for, for Hega in general. So for future, uh, the trends, of course, will be additive manufacturing, 3D print. This will be one of the main topics for future. As we showed today, we are able to produce some supporting components, non-visible components for the consumer parts. The next step can be really to produce um, devices and components which are in an absolute high class surface. So that's, that's not the point we can do to today. So that's still in developing, but this will be for sure one of the topics for the future. Um, sustainability, of course, will be also always um, a point. Here we have also some very nice ideas how, how to work uh, on this topic. So we also saw in the video already some organic surfaces like hay, like moss and like these things. So this is, uh, of course, sustainable. 
but also we are working on a special plastic raw material so perhaps in future we will be able really to provide a switch uh, with design parts made of plastic but with a biodegradable plastic so really um, this is something also in pipeline it's not ready yet um, but we are working on this um, yeah, special in time of COVID-19, but also already we have it uh, since many years, this issue are antibacterial surfaces. Also here we are in regular developing, uh, searching for partners, searching for solutions. And also here we have uh, perhaps a nice, nice new cooperation. We are ongoing. Uh, to really to provide articles with antibacterial surfaces. So I can imagine, for example, our K1 or our K5 range, which is made of uh, stainless steel with a powder coating, which has a special antibacterial surface. Um, yeah, that's also something we are working on currently. And last but not least, a uh, very important, I think, is uh, for Manufaktur, for Berker, for Hager, we need to find connections and cooperations with other sectors of interior design. For example, of the kitchen industry, for the bath industry. So if you as a customer has a nice uh, working plate in your kitchen made of a special stone, I think it would be an absolute very nice element if you have a switch on the wall with the same material and the same look. So really here to find um, corporations and connections with this sector is also something uh, we like to achieve and we are working on. Okay, thank you very much, Patrick. Um, well, you definitely excited me and I learned a lot from you. And let's see if our audience still have some questions left and hopefully also that Christian fixes mic. Otherwise, Patrick, we count on you. So the first question, uh, what is the lifetime of a Manufaktur product? Good question. So I have no real um, deadline of a Manufaktur product. So it's absolutely the same lifetime like all our standard articles. So if you have built it in, it's uh, a robust material. Of course, it depends on the solution. So a 24 karat gold uh, surface, of course, is much more, uh, can have much uh, quicker some scratches in it uh, than a stainless steel surface. Um, yeah, but to be honest, our manufacturer products, is, uh, there's no special lifetime of this. So it's, yeah, Sense. it's a long life. <laughs> Okay, let's see for another question. Are manufacture products recyclable? Um, yeah, that's something we are working on, what I said uh, in my last uh, slide. So for sustainability, for this special plastic material, material, this is something we are working on currently. Um, this material is really a degradable and recyclable pro um, material and product, but that's in development currently. Okay. Good questions. Yes. Absolutely. What about the lifespan of guarantee of these so unique and special products? So what guarantee can we give? Uh, that's absolutely um, like the Hager terms of conditions for every standard product. Our manufacturer have absolutely the same um, conditions and no worry, it won't be uh, shorter or something like that. So that's um, yeah, like, like we have it in standard range. Okay, thank you. Do you have an internal design service that can recommend or matching sockets for projects like in hotels or in the commercial chains? So we have no special interior design service, I think. Um, so Manufaktur, we are a small department here in, in Scheibsmühle, Germany. 
but all our sales representatives um, all over the world, and especially in many other region in Dubai and also in Turkey, they are very well trained in manufacture and what is possible and solutions. And I'm sure they they are the right contact persons. Yeah, but I also think that the strength of manufacture is that we are developing what internal designers are asking us. Correct. Yes, of course. So we are always depending on the ideas of our customers and the interior yeah. designer. And it's always important, really, the interior designer or the customer can also explain his idea to us. And in a direct discussion, we can always find a nice solution. So Heba, I hope this answered your question. No, we don't have our own service, but we give in the service for the designs they're asking us. Let's see if there's another question. Is there any future plan to launch an online tool or platform where an end user can order directly their custom made switches? So to be honest, currently not. That's an issue we have on our list, of course, and that's linked to the additive manufacturing 3D print projects and development so one day we could imagine if the 3d print technology is on the state we can really make an own product by 3d print uh, a step could be also to implement an online configuration tool where the customer can design the parameters and uh, really the switch but that's something which is in the future and uh, i cannot promise it in short time yet well, I also think, Patrick, it uh, is also a strategy uh, question because okay. at Hager, we really appreciate our uh, professional customers and to protect them that not an end user can buy directly with us. So that in the whole chain, we can earn some money with it. Absolutely, yes. Yeah. The most common need in a hotel project is do not disturb and make up my room, printing symbols on switches. Is this a technique silk screen printing? If yes, is it a problem that in coronavirus everyone use uh, uh, antiskeptis and clear alcohol for cleaning? Wow, a very interesting one. Um, yeah, okay, very interesting. Uh, so for, of course, do not disturb or makeup room printings are possible. That's absolutely clear. It's, also, it's depending on the techno technology we want to use. So we make, uh, we have our own UV digital printer. You also saw in the video. Um, this is possible, but this is also um, quite resistant, uh, this printing technology. But also it could be possible uh, to make a labeling by laser technology. So really we have a laser, uh, we can laser our product. So it's um, yeah more or less engraved to the product and uh, there would be no no issue with, with the cleaning materials. So indeed, if you're going to use alcohol cleaning, you should use the laser printing technology. Is yes. that what you're saying? Yes, yes, yes. Okay. yes. That's possible. Good to know. Very good uh, question from Fanny. How is the labeling of BRQ keypads done? And what is the price percentage incremented? Um, more or less the same answer. So on BRQ, we can do it by our digital printer. We can do it also by a tampon print. So this would be the printing technologies or also by laser. That's always how it's required, what are the requirements of the customer, or also what makes more sense uh, in case of quantity. So for digital printing, it's more um, useful and more cost efficient uh, for lower quantities, would be the UV digital print. For higher quantities, perhaps it could be more cost efficient for the laser. Um, process, but that's something yeah we need to discuss in case of the project and uh, per inquiry. And, and if you, uh, can you give us a, a, a slide of a percentage? What if you have a normal BIQ or you have a printed one? What will be in percentage the uh, extra costs? 
Um, quite difficult to say. Um, I know there are some competitors who are uh, saying that. I would say um, roughly, and my estimation, uh, there would be additional costs of around about 25 US dollar per, per product. So I cannot say it in percentage, but we can say perhaps 25 uh, euro um, additional costs per product. But as I said, really, this is also depending on the quantities of the end of the mix of the products. So um, that is a rough estimation, but for exact data, we need to, to check it um, okay. by project. I hope it answered a little bit. Is it possible for an architect to ask for a sample of one of a kind material so as to show it to his customer? Uh, of course, to ask is always possible. <laughs> um, yeah, a sample is always the problem, the quantity of one piece and um, the price could be uh, not so reasonable, but um, that's also we can find a solution. So some samples, of course, we have available. Um, depends on the on the requirement of the architect. Uh, we can we can provide something, of course. If there's a special project with a very special requirement, perhaps first we can make a rendering, so the customer and the architect can get a first impression. Um, and he can say, okay, I want to have it this way, or I want to have a change like uh, this parameter or this parameter, and uh, we can save several rounds of making samples and provide only one sample instead of, of three rounds of samples, for example. That makes sense to me, and we saw in the rendering, it looks more than, uh, than, than life, yes. It's very realistic, and uh, sometimes it could be better than the life. How to manage the stream of UV and high temperature test on products? <clears throat> um, good question. To be honest, uh, I think I do not have the final answer now yet here. So the UV and uh, temperature resistant of our products, um, there's no difference between the manufacturer and the standard um, products. So really we can here guarantee the same quality like we have in all our standard ranges. Okay. Does manufacturer execute labeling jobs generated from the Berka TS configuration? <clears throat> the Becker TS configuration online tool, this is a special Becker and Hager topic and it's a little bit confusing to be honest. So the Becker TS configuration tool you can find online is belonging to standard range. So here really um, the correct um, contact would be our standard offer management. Only all labelings which are not possible within this configuration tool, for example, very special symbols or logos, something like that, this can be realized by manufacturer also. So yeah, I know that's a little bit confusing. We have the online configuration tool with a standard and the manufacturer, which is a little bit parallel uh, by side. But to be concrete, the is configuration that belongs to the Becker TS, and it's a standard solution with standard symbols in the configuration. Everything else goes to manufacturer. Is that correct? Yes, that's correct. Okay. Instead of color and finishing, can we provide some electronic functions need like wireless charging? Um, yes, but limited. So electronic functions, all what is not related to 220 volt or security related components. So if we are talking about low voltage, like wireless charging, uh, wireless charging, this is not a good example because I think this could be very difficult and not sure if this could be possible. But um, for USB charging sockets, HDMI connections, and so on. We have also some solutions with manufacturer, which is possible, which are possible. So the more high voltage, let's say the 220 volt to 40 volt, it's linked then to all the certification needs, why it's not yes. possible. 
Yes, correct. Makes sense. Okay. okay, hello, this is uh, Thomas speaking, your host for this webinar. Uh, we are now at the end of this uh, session. We have no more questions. Uh, thank you. I would like to say a big thanks to uh, our dear speakers and uh, big thanks also to our attendees. I hope you've uh, liked it. Please take a, a minute now to uh, Fill in the uh, the feedback survey. It's important for us to to know what we can change, what we can improve for the next webinars. And speaking about the next webinars, I I'd like to encourage you also to visit our website or our LinkedIn LinkedIn page, where you will find all the uh, all the schedule, the complete schedule for the next sessions. Uh, still a few sessions to come in July, and we will then start again in in September. Uh, thanks a lot, and I hope you've liked it, um, and uh, we will be glad to welcome you again for the next sessions. Thanks a lot. Goodbye. Have a good day. Thank you all. Bye-bye. Thank you very much. Bye-bye. Sorry.